Okay, guys, what's good? What's up? Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Hey, if you're new here, my name is Chanel. I'm your resident movie watching BFF. You've clicked on my reaction and commentary channel, the channel where we're going to watch a movie together. And I'll let you know what's going on in my brain the whole time I'm watching it. And I like to do it um, paying attention to the filmmaking because that's my favorite way to consume and watch a movie. It's part reaction, but it's a lot of commentary. And it's just 100% fun. I'm so annoying. Apologies. I think I'm in a good mood today. We'll see if it lasts. Anyway, today's video, let me stop being so distracted. Let me just do one thing at a time. Today's video, if you didn't know, is going to be Predator from 1987. Arnold Schwarzenegger, I freaking love that man. He has been a bit of a good luck charm for me. I loved doing Terminator on the channel. John McTiernan, the director, I think he did Die Hard. I could be off. Yeah, he did Die Hard. You know, I have to admit, I know almost nothing about Predator. I'm a little confused. Is there any crossover with Alien? Because I definitely remember Alien vs. Predator as a thing. Or are those just cinematic crossovers? I don't know. It is billed as action adventure horror. I could keep going. I could look up more, but I'm definitely not going to. Why would I spoil the fun? And this is the point in one of my videos where I thank the members that sit on my $15 tier. They support me a little bit extra, so they get a mention in every single one of my videos. And my $15 patrons this month are Cody Christopher, Courtney Douglas, Reef, Martin, Ethan, Tom, Heavy Changa, David Berwinkle, Brian, Sean, Grizzly Moore, Daniel, and Jason. Thank you guys so much for your extra support. And before we continue on with today's video, I am so excited to say that today's video is sponsored by Helix Sleep. Let's give them a little round of applause on the channel. I've I've literally never given a round of applause. And today, today was your lucky day. I love sleep. I always say this on the channel. I'm like big time napper. I'm one of the hardest nappers I know. I don't know anyone who naps harder than me. I'm a fan of the 20 minute nap. I'm a fan of the three hour. Where am I nap? I'm a fan of the, I only meant to nap, but I woke up the next day nap. I'm a world-class napper. I always have been, but what hasn't always been the best is my bed. Yeah. I don't have a good track record of choosing good mattresses. I usually go for something really cheap, but if I go for something cheap, it has fiberglass in it, which is super bad for my health. I toss, I turn, I'm what we call a combo sleeper. I like to sleep on my back, my side, and my stomach. And I could never really find a mattress that was there to roll with me, you know? But fear not, that's where Helix Sleep comes in. Helix makes premium mattresses customized to fit your needs. Two years ago, I went online and took the Helix Sleep Quiz. There, I was able to just plug in some information about myself, height, weight, how I like to sleep. Based on my results to the sleep quiz, Helix matched me with the Helix Midnight Mattress, and then I was able to upgrade mine to the Helix Midnight Lux because I just like that extra two inches of a plush topper. It's like sleeping on a cloud every single night. Unlike other mattress brands, Helix does not contain fiberglass, which is super harmful to your health. Every Helix mattress comes shipped rolled up in a box right to your door with free shipping in the US. There is a 100 night sleep trial, which means you get to try your mattress risk-free for 100 nights. Make sure you love it. If you're gonna buy something as important as a mattress, I mean, you spend half your life on it, I wanna make sure that you have made the right decision. Helix mattresses include a 10 year warranty and they have flexible payment plan options if you need them. I've been enjoying almost two years of the most perfect sleep of my life. It is my favorite mattress I've ever, ever owned. That's why I'm gonna invite you to head to helixsleep.com, take the sleep quiz, get matched with the perfect mattress for you. And then during Cyber Week, you will get 25% off of the premium mattress of your dreams, plus two free pillows. This deal is a limited time only, so go. Go get your mattress. What was that voice? I'm so sorry. Okay, thank you so much to Helix for sponsoring today's video. And one of these days I gotta watch a movie from my bed. What do you guys think? That's said on that. Without further ado, let's get right into today's video, which is Predator from 1987. It's a good year in cinema. Okay, special effects, I see you. Hmm, we went from space to not space. <laughs> this is for my comprehension, you guys, not for you. Alan Silvestri? 
we just saw him do Death Becomes Her. I freaking love the way my movies connect on this channel. Is this him? Is this, my, is this Aaron? He's so f***ing cool. You guys notice they haven't done an Arnold reveal yet. We saw him in shadow, we saw him in silhouette, and we've seen him from behind. Did you see the light? Did you see him walk right into that light? About here. Arnold is so young and cute. Does he always travel on the wrong side of the border? Apparently they straight off course. So why don't you use the regular army? Because some damn fool accused you of being the best. This is so Top Gun coded already. <laughs> Dylan! <laughs> Goose. Son of a bitch. Bicep. Don't let go first or you're weak. Why'd you pass? We are rescue team, not assassins. Something tells me they're going to end up assassins by the end of this movie. We pick up their trail at the chopper, run them down, grab those hostages and bounce back across the border before anybody knows we were there. Channel, my team always works alone. You know that. I'm afraid we all have our orders, Major. Gonna tell and Mary the Other side of the border, get some hostages, and he's gotta work with a partner. And he's a real lone wolf type. Who's our backup? This is a one-way ticket. Once we cross that border, we're on our own. They are taking pains to let us know that they're about to be faced with a problem and not get any help. <laughs> I said, you know, I'd like a little... She said, me too! Mine's as big as a house! The hell? Big as a house! Yeah. She wanted a smaller... <laughs> what? This stuff will make you a goddamn sexual tyrannosaurus! Just like me. Tell me we're heading into the Reagan years. 87. Pockets, you up. Right away. I guess they were former partners. Safe to assume. Can't wait to see how quickly they get f over. <laughs> I'm expecting fast. I'm expecting within 20 minutes of this movie. Yes, quirky score. <laughs> I never could climb the rope and jump class. Whoever hit it stripped the sh out of it. Took him out with a heat seeker. This is no ordinary army taxi. Pretty sophisticated for a bunch of half ass mountain boys. Major! I guess they're getting better equipped every day. Two guys in the chopper, followed by men with American equipment. I don't know what he was expecting to get from that. Oh. Zap? I hope we have our first kill soon. Like right now. Yo! They're skinned! <laughs> oh, they left the tags though. Mac, cut him down. This is not what I was expecting for our first kills. I knew these men. Green berets out of Fort Bragg. Now, what the hell were they doing here? The gorillas skinned them? Why did they skin them? That's what I'm asking. Can't believe that Jim Hopper walked in an ambush. I don't believe he did. Jim Hopper wouldn't do that. Let's get the hostages. Payback time. Love that kind of movie dialogue. It's payback time. I think that's why we like Die Hard so much, or I liked Die Hard so much, was for that dialogue. Is this what he meant by heat seeker? I really don't know what that would be. Okay. Oh my god. I wanted to see some alien kills, not some... I want to see an alien reach through some guy's brain with a claw, you know? 
Or a predator, not an alien, a predator. Fun, extreme close-up for me. Love that. That's what I'm saying. Showtime, kid. More of that action film dialogue. It's showtime. <laughs> Bloodbath. Making Swiss cheese out of everybody. Stick around. Stick around. Oh, that was so good. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Same writer as Die Hard, maybe? We're gonna have to look at this. Very similar jokes. Ugh, it's a lady. Be careful. If you're Central American, I'm a goddamn Chinaman. They're From not. From the looks of it, our cabinet minister was CIA. <gasps> Another thing, Major, we were lucky. Other guys he waxed, the Russian military advisors. Good work, Mac. Clear the area. No traces. Get the men ready to move. Right. Okay, I'm starting to piece together. You got time to duck? <laughs> You got time to duck. <laughs> you sell It's all bullshit. All of it. He didn't disappear. He was skinned alive. And my orders were to get somebody and who could crack these bastards. So he cooked up a story and dropped the six of us in a meat grinder. Whoa. What happened to you, Dylan? Betrayal. You used to be somebody I could trust. Yeah, Dylan. asset. And I used you to get the job done. Got it? Oh, intense. I know this is never going to happen to me, but do you guys worry that you'll do a bunch of shit based on a story and then find out that that was a fake story? Because <laughs> I'm scared of this. Hey, Billy, give me a way out of this hole. The aerial says we are cut off. He managed to, like, just carry a cigar the whole way. They should have shown him lighting the cigar on the burning building. That would have been so funny. <laughs> and they are being watched by I don't know who. What? Uh, I was like, what? More betrayal going on? No scorpions were harmed during the making of this film. Jeez, you got a big pussy. She said, why did you say that twice? And I said I didn't. It's got because of the echo. With... That man is very insecure in the bedroom. Who is surveilling them? Is it the predator? The, the extraterrestrial beings? Mmm. Doesn't look like a human hand. Anytime. And they they killed maybe one of their little buddies. <laughs> snazzy, snazzy music now. The finesse. Buddy, 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 buddy. Seen some badass bush before, man, but nothing like this. Seen a lot of bush before. Come on, sweetheart. Stop sandbagging it. Now get up. Come on, get up. Would you get up? Treat her nice. Shouldn't do anything. Try it again. Please. I'm just remembering back to when he said, quit sandbagging it. <laughs> get up. <laughs> Who is watching them? I want to see. By the halfway point, we better get it. What's wrong with you? What's got Billy so spooked? There's something in those trees. That's for sure. <laughs> They're both like... I guess there's nothing they... Nice. <laughs> <laughs> what the... <gasps> oh, that was the big reveal. I didn't realize 
That's so cool. They're like, um, camouflaged into whatever's around them. This is her blood. What the hell did you do to him? Major. I can't tell. Is it a piece of him? God's name. I think it's talking. Is he like all skinned and everything? Show me, show me. She says the jungle. It just came alive and took him. Oh, I should have waited. This woman's been holding him tight to him. Keep it in front of him. Boys. Boys. Why didn't they take his radio or his weapon? Yeah. Why didn't she escape? Yeah. It's almost like they're not interested in his radio or his weapon. They're just interested in killing. I want Hawkins' body found. Sweet pattern. Double back. 50 meters. Let's go. Good luck. What am I looking at, you guys? This is a limb of a... Okay, well, <laughs> that's f***ing terrifying. Look up and say cheese. Painless is waiting. Ah. That is such a cool effect. I have no idea how you get that. All right, okay. I can't say that I wouldn't try the same thing, you know, just dust the whole area. Boys, are we done? Sick, cool. I freaking love guts. No blood, no bodies. We hit nothing. Dylan, better get on a radio. They are being hunted. Vamos. She got the predator goo on her pants. Oh, we are like almost in the middle, I feel like, and we're at that like lull where I can breathe because we're about to make a plan. <laughs> I hope. <gasps> so if they get wounded, they have a uh, tell. But they can also perform field surgery. So we're fucked. Bendable assets. It comes with the job. I can accept it. What a good a chopper's gonna do us in here anyhow. We're expendables. Sucks. Kept off 200 rounds in the minigun. Nothing on this earth could have lived. The dialogue, nothing on this earth could have lived. You ain't afraid of no man. There's something out there waiting for us. This ain't a man. It ain't no man. Hire me. We're all gonna die. <laughs> We're all gonna die. What is the predator goal? To kill, to kidnap, to skin, to eat? What is it? It seems like just to kill, right? Jesus, you killed a pig. What the? Oh, that was such a fake out. Lane's body, it's gone. Came in through the tripwires. Took it right out from under our noses. Took it. Okay, all right. So they have some business with the bodies. He's using the trees. The audience has known that the whole movie. We're like, yeah. <laughs> nice of you to join us in the know, Arnold. I don't know what it was. She speaks English. Go on. The thing is hunting us. All of us. I'm taking her back. We're out of here in five minutes. About time they freed her. That's, that was making me uncomfortable. Blood was on the leaves. If it bleeds, we can kill it. Oh, that's good. If it bleeds, we can kill it. it can see our trip wires. Maybe it can see this. Instead of complaining, maybe you should help. Yeah, maybe. Such a focus on the masculine form in this movie. Big muscles, big sweaty biceps. It's like a macho, macho movie. I 
can't wait. I hope they catch one. I really want them to catch one. Oh, not the time for that. And don't be dry shaven. Why is he doing that? I don't understand. Oh, I don't like that. The little cuts are so much worse than somebody getting their head blown in. And this year it grows hot. We begin finding our man. We found them sometimes without their skin. And sometimes much, much worse. This thing comes with hot weather? The demon who makes trophies of man. Trophies of man. That's what they're doing. I would I would get tangled in my own tripwire. <laughs> Easy. It shoots lasers. <gasps> oh, that looks insane. Gotcha, bitch. Say cheese. Got you. Hasta la vista, baby. You can't win this, Dylan. Maybe I can get even. Dylan. Go get it, Dill. Go on and get it. I'm gonna have me some fun. I'm gonna have me some fun. I don't know what he was saying there. Hyping himself up. I heard, turn around. <gasps> okay, what? Do we see? Do we see him? What was he doing? Work your way down there toward him. Chewing the shit out of my lips. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> he was getting too hot headed. He was like out for it, blood, because his friend got killed. And when you're too hot headed in one of these movies, man, you die. Unless you're a top billed actor. In which case, you're allowed to be hot-headed. He didn't kill you because you weren't armed. No sport. He didn't kill you because you weren't armed. No sport. So, like, it's like a game for them. Did I see that right? Did his arm just get shot off? Can someone confirm for me? Arm got shot clean off. I'm not okay. Billy is very like one with the land, you know, he uses natural resources. So what's Billy gonna do? Billy wants to go hand to hand. Or Billy's gonna, gonna, gonna hurt himself. Okay, I, Bill, 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 Bilbo. Don't, don't touch it. You have to be unarmed. <gasps> Run! You can't hit Arnie in his own movie. He's the leading man. You can't hit him. I thought we'd get a longer glimpse of the Predator guys without their camouflage on, but I'm starting to think maybe we won't. Oh. Slip and slide. Fly, bitch. Little jaws, right? In my head, I'm just going, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> hmm, because he's covered in the mud, he is not radiating heat. <sighs> C 
Saved by the bell. He couldn't see me. Yes, Arnold. Good theory. We love it. Love to see it. Put it together. He's become a wild man. I mean, I'd be dead. I could never. First frames of this movie, I'm, I'm, I'm gone. Is that a, it, it, that was the skull and spine it looked like? Or some guts? Oh my God, oh my God. This is like our, our training montage, you know? He's Rocky and he's getting ready. Oh yeah, he collected that for just for sport, just for fun. I love cutting on um, a matching action. It's really cool. This movie got style. I'm waiting, babe. Okay, Tarzan. Okay, so he put that like gunpowder on the end and made a little explosive. It's like the 4th of July. Light him up. Ugh, buddy. The suit is short circuiting. We're about to go into a bloodbath again with almost no dialogue. So at the end of this thing, Arnold better say something iconic as all hell. Like, say goodnight. Those things are so sick looking. It's like alien and mechanical at the same time. Hmm, so it can hear. <laughs> I want Arnold in this thing to like fist fight. Like I wanna see them rumble, not shoot each other. Oh no, 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 the mud's gonna wash off. He literally just lost his armor. I got what I wanted, I got what I wanted. Does he put him down now? Cause he's unarmed? What the hell? Reveal? What are you, what? You gonna show us what you look like? Okay, all right. You're one ugly mother. <laughs> Did I not tell you I needed a line that was iconic right there? Oh, this is why we like the movies, guys. It's a good hit. Say hello to my little thorn trap and his wolverine claw. Come on, come on. Come on. Kill me, I'm here, kill me! Arnold's the the cheese in the trap. Mom, do it now, kill me! <laughs> Just walks around. Kick it. 
<laughs> yeah, got him. That it's gonna be a fake out though. There's still too much runtime left. He's gonna pop right back up. Hey, what's up? Arnie, open your eyes. Wake up, Arnold. Go, kill him. Mother What the hell are you? Google Translate on my sleeve. <laughs> Yeah, that laugh's a no from me, dog. I'm the idiot that thought he was gonna answer. What the hell are you? My God. <laughs> Iconic with the score backing this moment up. It's very military, you know? Hmm, I have so many questions. Like, was there only one? Seemed like the whole movie we were dealing with one. That cannot be the ending. Are you kidding me? I miss when credits were like this, and it's always been my dream to be in a movie where at the end I get to go. And then it's me. <laughs> Woo! Let's talk about it. Predator from 1987. I have now seen it. Woohoo, you guys. I thought that was really fun. That is kind of um, exactly what I like for an action movie because I don't love them. That's not my favorite genre. So if there's going to be action that I have to follow, I need it to be snazzy. And this had that late 80s, early 90s, I would say, snazz to it. Very much why I liked Die Hard. That dialogue is so fun. It's snarky. It's sarcastic. It tonally almost doesn't fit with what's going on, with the horror of what's going on. But the way that these movies can like get you with the action, the effects, and then the funny dialogue, I think it's like a... It's a triple punch of fun. I was so stoked to hear Alan Silvestri's score. You have no idea. I loved it. The dialogue is the real winner here. Arnold is a star. Him with that freaking cigar up in the beginning. Like, what? I think this is a really macho movie. There are so many male bodies and they are in tip top shape. The whole arm getting shot off and certain effects were super cool. First things first, these writers, Jim Thomas, John Thomas. They're known for Predator and Prey. Wow. Predator is actually their first credit, which is exciting. That's really exciting. This movie won one Oscar for best visual effects, which I'd say that's a duh, right? Feels very duh. Feels very cutting edge. I would like to do budget this is a big old action movie so 40 million whoa 15 million dollar estimated budget i am off as always i think i used to be better at that i'm not very good now i think i just need to look up when die hard was i think die hard was early 90s no die hard was 88 and this was 87 we just need to go to some trivia because i have nothing to say that was just fun right i think we can all agree that's just for fun and um you know if i paid money to go see this in theaters I'd be very happy. I always say it. Pro the film provided a variety of hardships for the actors, such as leeches, snakes, stifling humidity, heat, rough terrain. All night scenes were filmed during freezing cold temperatures, which was hard on Arnold. The mud he had to wear, which was actually pottery clay, became cold and wet. He was warned it would take his body temperature down a few degrees. He shivered nonstop, even when they tried to heat him with lamps. Oh my god. God. Making movies is brutal, man. It's not comfortable. It's very uncomfortable. I have been the most uncomfortable of my life on set. It is not fun. Okay. Invisibility cloaking effect was achieved with a bright red suit. 
because it was the farthest opposite of the green of the jungle and the blue of the sky. The red was removed with chroma key techniques, leaving an empty area. The take was then repeated without the actors using a 30% wider lens on the camera. When the two takes were combined optically, the jungle from the second take filled in the empty area. Because the second take was filmed with a wider lens, a vague outline of the alien could be seen with the background scenery bending around its shape. So they blended shots with that and used a red suit. There was a lot of rivalries in terms of workouts on this movie. A lot of pranking. After Dutch impales a bad guy against a wooden post with his machete, he utters the most, the immortal one-liner, stick around. This was apparently improvised by Arnold. I don't know. That felt scripted. Jean-Claude Van Damme was originally cast to play the Predator. Weird. Predator's blood was the inside of glow sticks and KY jelly. Arnold lost 25 pounds before filming so he could be lean as well as muscular. Predator costume weighed over 200 pounds. There was an actor in it. Even though 7 foot 2 Kevin Peter Hall was a large and powerful man, he had to be connected to a bungee rig to enable him to move more believably. Whoa. Cool, Predator's head was built as a separate piece, and a total of three were created. A hero head that was capable of facial articulation, a static stunt head, and a head that was completely open at the front to use in scenes where Predator is wearing its mask. The animatronic face on the hero head was controlled by a set of nine servo motors that enabled motion of the brow area and mandibles, as well as a cheek squint. Whoa. Yeah, so that was all practical. The face was built mechanically. And they would swap out what they needed for the different shots. Bill Duke improvised the shaving. The crew scrambled on set to make a razor that squirts blood. That was insane. In an interview, Carl Weathers said the actors would secretly wake up as early as 3 a.m. to work out before the day's shooting. Yes, there's a very strong focus on bodies in this movie. Weathers also stated that he would act as if his physique was naturally given to him and would work out only after the other actors were nowhere to be seen. (laughs) Oh, so Arnold was known for smoking cigars, apparently. Screenwriter's intent was to strip away elements of the modern organized world. Here's the guy with the most technological weaponry and he's reduced to making bows and arrows. Yeah, he went totally just like of the land at the end, you know? Shane Black came up with the coarse jokes he tells in the film. You know, it's funny, I was expecting a third one. He told two sexual jokes and I was really expecting a third. Studio wouldn't allow John McTiernan to shoot the film in anamorphic widescreen. That sucks, I love anamorphic widescreen. Due to the complexities of the optical effects. Mythbusters proved that covering yourself entirely in mud doesn't in fact conceal your body heat because after only a short time the mud on your skin becomes warmer. Rambo First Blood Part 2, 85 and Aliens 86 have been cited as influences behind this film. That's very cool. Okay, so you now have seen my reaction to Predator from 1987, so I want to hear from you. Comment below where were you when you first saw this movie? What did you think? Did you catch it in theaters? And what did you think? Like, what, did it blow your mind or no? I gotta know. Did you catch this at home? Were you on a date? Did you see it with your family? Give me the story, okay? You saw my first time. I wanna hear about your first time. Um, Patreon information in the description box below. Other ways to support me below. If you like the music I use, check out Epidemic Sound. If you like the look of my stuff, if you like my setup, Amazon storefront link below. And um, you know the drill on that note? I'm gonna go eat.